Hey y'all, hey. Good afternoon. Happy Saturday. How you doing? Um this video is for my ladies, but I guess it can apply to a man too. You just have to switch it around to look at it from a male's point of view. But he be thinking about you. I'm pink today. I feel real girly. When I got my nails done, she said, I saw one pink. I was like, I feel girly. I feel girly. I don't know what that's about because I don't typically get pink nails. Not this kind of pink anyway, but I feel girly. But anyway, he be think he be thinking about you. He was thinking about you all during the separation. And so I'm just sharing this because I've seen and I don't watch a lot of um prophetic voices or prophetic words about marriage, kingdom spouse, God ordained spouse, that kind of stuff. I don't watch a lot of different people. I have the people that I watch. And it's not just that a, I watch their words about marriages, but I like to see how God uses them and the prophecies and the prophetic words that he speaks through them. And then some of the words just happen to be about marriage or whatever. But I've seen some where they say, um, you know, they're speaking to whatever God has told them. And whether it's coming from scripture or if it's coming from a dream or a real life scenario that God has spoken to them about the person that God has said is for you, the one that he has handpicked for you, um, is thinking about you. You know, they're doing this or they're working on themselves or they're preparing or, or God is working on them or whatever the case may be. I, it's true. So I just come to share a little story with you, right? So I know if you, I'm, I can't go through everything, but um, I've been, well, over the last few months, we've been having conversations. So my honey and I, we have a lot of, we have a lot of conversations and a lot of conversations about what took place during separations time, times we weren't together. Let me plug my phone up. Time we weren't together, that there was a separation. So I would say, again, you'd have to take this word back to God, but this, I feel like it's for someone who's been with somebody. So that for the person, the man or woman who's been connected to their God ordained spouse. Um, and then there's been a separation because we had been together in the past and then we, we were separated for whatever reason. And so we've had those conversations about what he was doing during those separations periods. You know, I had my conversation. Well, so it's like, for instance, I was, we were talking yesterday and I was just saying to him, and we've had different conversations, some of the same conversations, but just a little more elaborating on those conversations. But I was saying to him, like, I was like, you know, it would be points where we would spend the whole day together. Like, for instance, it was one day, it was a Saturday, this was a couple years ago, and I was actually going to go to the gym. And I don't go to the gym a whole lot on Saturdays, but some days I do. Um, it was the summertime, probably like June. I think it was June 11th, 2022, to be exact. Um, and I was on my way to the gym, and he called me. He's like, what you doing? I was like, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. And he was like, oh, I was calling to see if you wanted to get some breakfast. And I'm like, well, sure I do, because <laughs> I like steak. Um, so we met at the brunch place, the breakfast place, and we had breakfast and everything, and that was cool. And it's probably about 10, 1030 or something like that. And then after that, he was like, do you want to go walk? Now, you know, I love the river. Yes, I do. So we ended up leaving breakfast. We went to the river walk and we walked the river walk. And then we, I think we left there and ended up downtown. We was just together all day from like 9, 30, 10 o'clock to probably about 7, 30 when, he, when I got back to my car. I think we walked downtown. I feel like we went shopping. We was in a Nike store. Just all downtown stuff. So we was together all that day, right? Good time. At least I thought. And then after that, I can't remember exactly... Um, but our communication kind of ceased, so to speak. I feel like it ceased. I can't remember exactly if we talked a little bit, but not a lot, or I would call. And that's what I told him. I said, I would like call you and you wouldn't answer. You would return my calls or a text or something. And so when I get like that, when things got like that, then I'm just like, it's confusing for me because I don't understand. You know, how could this be? We just had a great time. We spent this day together and now you like ghost. And he was like, um, he was like, I was... I had to, I had to, well, he would say I was running from you. That's how he put it in his words. And those are the words he used, so that's what I'm going to say. He said I was running from you. He said I couldn't understand why I liked you so much. And I didn't like the way that was making me feel in the instance because I knew that I was falling for you hard and I was trying to control that. He said and ultimately I knew 
that you were the one I wanted to be with. I just knew I had I wasn't ready because I had stuff I needed to get in order in my life. And I didn't want to bring anything to this. Um, when I came to you, I didn't want to bring anything that would hurt you in any kind of way or, or ruin our chances at being successful and being together. But I was hoping and praying that you would still be available when I figured all this out or whatever. I'm kind of giving you the cliff note version. And so we've had these conversations about that because I tell him, I said, all I know is how I perceived what happened. But to hear you tell me that you were always thinking about me or, you know, that you were, you know, focused on this. And he said something to me specific yesterday. Excuse me, y'all. He said, I was getting myself together. I was preparing myself for you. And I didn't even know it. That's what he told me. He said, I was preparing myself for you. And I didn't even know it. So, I just come on here to remind you, to encourage you, for the men and women, I'll probably be more women, but if men, if you see this, for you all who know that you know without a shadow of a doubt, and you have not idolized marriage, you have not idolized a person, but this is what God has told you. You've asked for confirmation and he's given it to you. He's given you confirmation and encouragement even when you didn't ask to go along the way. Um, and you know that you know this is what God told you. And you may not be in communication with that person. You all may be separated and, and not speaking with each other. Stand on the promises of God and do whatever it is you need to do to stay encouraged. Because it is hard sometimes and it does get discouraging. But just know that they are thinking about you. They don't even understand why they're thinking about you. While we over here thinking, we thinking about them and they ain't thinking about us. They thinking about you just as much. He was like, I don't, I couldn't understand why I was always thinking about you. And I'd be looking, you know, looking at your pictures on Facebook or something. Or he was like, one time I, um, we will have been Facebook friends in the past off and on. This thing been going for some years, y'all. But he was like, I would un unfriend you or whatever. And he's talking about one time I was looking for you and I couldn't remember your last name. And I was looking, I was looking. And it just came to me. He said, but I couldn't understand why I liked you so much. But he said to me, even from when he first seen me, because we met in the gym. But he seen me before I seen him. It was kind of like a Boaz Ruth type thing. He said, I saw you. I saw you when you first walked in. And he's like, I've been going to the gym for some years. And I didn't come here for that. And that wasn't what I was looking for. He was like, but when I seen you, it was almost like love at first sight. He was like, and you just kind of floated past. He said, that's what it felt like. Like you was just calm and you was just walking. It felt like slow motion and like you were just floating past. And I'd be cracking up. He's like, you think I'm playing? I'm serious. He's like, you think I'd be lying to you? I'm like, no, I'm here for the honesty. I'm just appreciate you sharing with me so I can come share with y'all. Um, the men's perspective, the men's point of view, what the men be doing. He was like, um, he said, but I watched you. He said, I watched you because I wanted to see if you were talking to anybody here. And I was new. I had been at Lifetime at that point probably a year. But I didn't realize that the, the, the gym scene like in there was like a country club type, like a hookup. Almost like a plant. If you haven't talked about or hear about people who work in a plant, a lot of relationships and sneaking around and all that like going in a plant. That's what was going on in the gym. And I had no clue. Um, but he said, I watched you. And I really just watched you to see how, you know, watched you to see if you were talking to anybody. Because if you were, I wasn't going to approach you or whatever. But just know that they watch you. They be thinking about you. That they're preparing. That God speaks to them just like God speaks to you. That's his son, his daughter. He speaks to them just the same way he speaks to you. And allow God to um, do what it is that he needs to do in them and you as well because he'll bring it together at the right time and I know we get tired of hearing that word but it's so true and I was telling this conversation with my son yesterday he was like I don't see why it has to be so hard and I said it's not hard when you wait on the one that God has for you you're not trying to force something with the one that's, that was never supposed to be so I just wanted to share this word to keep you encouraged that during this time of separation, if this is the God ordained spouse, the one God has told you about and you're separated, believe the word of God. Know that they're thinking about you just as much you are thinking about them. Stay encouraged. Stay prayed up. Continue to strengthen your relationship with God and do whatever it is that you were supposed to be doing during this time of singleness. That's it. That's the message. That's the word of encouragement for you on this Saturday. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.